these iconic hedges, the field where some of college football's greats have called home. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, where these fans are ready to turn the dogs loose. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Golden Gophers will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The offense lining up for a first down play. Give to the running back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Georgia going up tempo. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Back to throw. It's back. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Can anyone catch him? And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big one for this offense. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and ten in the red zone. Running the red zone. It's ETN. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Now the play fake. Finds his big tight end. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. They already have the lead, and they're trying to build it here in the first quarter with an onside kick. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. A first down for the offense. Taylor has it. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Wow, through the defense. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and they just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you can tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Escapes the pressure going right. He'll try to do it himself. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Man, it's nice to have a quarterback that just does that, man. Just effortlessly picks up chunks of yards and then smartly gets out of bounds. But this whole offense, man, everybody's a threat. Anybody can take the football and make big plays. And when you've got a quarterback with that much athletic ability, it's an absolute nightmare for defenses. And they bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Golden Gophers come to the line in the hurry up. Got some room, hey! He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! 
I'm not sure anyone even breathed on that running back by the time he got into the end zone. Nah, so many blockers out in front that were the defenders. I mean, it's a good idea. You know, the guy with the ball, that's usually the guy we want to go tackle. Go, go get him. And the extra point is good. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane till they'll stop him at the 16. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here in the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And they bring him down, but did you see this freshman rifle that thing in there? And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separate. Hit the afterburners, kid. And that one looked as if it might go all the way, but they picked up more than 40 yards before the touchdown saving pass. Time winding down in the quarters, they come to the line. It's a reverse. They'll make the stop behind the line of scrimmage, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. To the air. It's back. Pressure coming. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Setting up the screen. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. I think moving forward on third down, this offense is going to have to be a little bit more aggressive and try to throw it vertically. Start throwing the ball. They can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. And the offense will recover, but it's not going to make any difference as they're short of the first down marker. Excellent field position here for the offense. They'll run it from the gun. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. The quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And the pass falls harmlessly to the ground. We'll see if the laundry is as harmless. He just lost track of where he was on the field. Entire body past the line of scrimmage. Illegal forward pass, and they will back him up. Quarterback checking the play. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. That is a huge play early in this game. We came into this thing wondering just how aggressive this offense wanted to be, and there you go. First half, fourth and long. We're not bringing the punter out on the field. We've got a guy that we think can read the defense and deliver a strike. We've got playmakers stretching the field vertically. They show you how dangerous they can be on that last fourth down there.
And he got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes continue to feed this man the ball. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for him for a game. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it, we didn't get it. And the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before, so you've got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand new drive. Let's go out and execute, put some points on the board. Offense set on first down. He'll start this drive firing. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies, the 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to him, and they forced the incompletion. Let's see what they've got on second down. On the run. It's Beck. Fires to the big fella. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Sweet cut there. Still on his feet. Still running at the 40. Oh, look out. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And now a chance to pull even as we get late here in the first half. Snaps it in the shotgun. He caught it. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. The defense calls the timeout, and that's their last one of the half. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Slams it ahead. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. Saw it, put his foot in the ground, and that was Painter. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Third and goal is where offensive coordinators earn their keep. 42, Spider, go! He wants to throw it. And down he goes back at the three. Fourth down and goal from the three. The playbook is pretty much wide open here. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! Yeah, and the 
passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. He's in at the end zone for the two, and he gets them the lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. This is ultra-aggressive. Still in the first half, got the lead and going for the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. He had nowhere to go, no place to hide, and they'll knock him down for a loss of nine. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. They're trying to get to it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. He's looking for a man on second down. He lets one fly deep. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! What great execution by this offense. It looked like you were about to go into the half trailing. Now, with this answer, this scoring drive, you got the lead, you got the momentum, taking it into halftime. Nice job by this offense, executing that last drive. He's not going to get there as the defense comes up with the stop on the two-point conversion attempt, and it remains a five-point game. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Coming out with it, it's Taylor. Smashes ahead. He stopped there, but a good return coming out of his own end zone gets it to the 28. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Trying to set the tone with the run. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run play action. Makes the grab on the shovel. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. A lot of times when that ball's come out, you can tell the offensive linemen want to get those defensive linemen's hands down. They want to hit them, engage on them. Great job by the defensive end, getting his hands up in the air and getting the deflection. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Well, the defense obviously went in at halftime. They were trailing on the scoreboard. They needed to make some adjustments, and already they're showing some positive signs. On the very first drive of the second half, they're able to register a sack on third down, looking to get the ball back to their offense here. Bringing it back, it's Evans. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. And I tell you what, when you got a guy that is that good at dissecting your defense, you better get pressure. Nice job by the defense, hurrying him up, speeding up the thought process. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. And the Bulldogs headed quickly to the line. 
And that's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Got some room in it. took everything on defense just get that guy down on the one yard line he is a monster dude and touchdown georgia they take the lead with the six they're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal looking downfield it's back and swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity I guess they're trying to send a message to start this second half. Lined up for an onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again. Create some momentum. Just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. But jet sweep pass. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Takes it from the gun on third down. Takes a shot as he lets it go. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Complete out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Got the first down and more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Oh, it's a reverse. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you, to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain the backside. Great job by the defense. Not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. Nice run there. Picks up a few, and they'll force him out of bounds. And that's a pretty good job by this defense. Man, it's so hard to limit these quarterbacks, and they're spreading you out all over the field when they take off. It's hard to limit the damage. Nice job limiting the damage. And I tell you what, make it physical. Finish those plays and try to tackle that guy and make him think about running the football in the future. Got it. Behind the line, it's ETN. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The dogs are in the hurry up. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Fires into the end zone, and it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. First down for this offense. Oh. 
Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pick on that. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. To the air, it's Brosmer. He's got his man. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the right. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. A lot of urgency for this offense. Back to the air one more time. Dances away. Caught in the backfield, it's Jackson. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. The sure hands, it's Williams. He would love to have picked up the first down there, but saving the timeouts and saving the clock, much more important right now. Yeah, that could save the game because now I can work the middle of the field still. Now I can still take those shots deep. When I get without timeouts and those start to dwindle, I get very predictable, so great job getting out of bounds. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Man, when I was at Florida, Steve Spurrier would wait for this opportunity in a game fourth and inches, and he'd signal in red snoop. Quarterback sneak. It works every time. They'll try the run. At the 35, he's loose. Oh, I thought he was taking that all the way, but they stop him at the seven. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Already in prime field goal position, but they would love to score a touchdown to take the lead. Little touch pass to the receiver. And the defense drags him down. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he's dragged down. Timeout is called and the clock is down to eight. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. This almost certainly to win the game. Field goal is good. That was a spontaneous combustion of a celebration on the sidelines. And wait to see what happens if they can hold on for a few more seconds. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Look at the clock, probably out of field goal range, David. Maybe time for one more shot. Desperation time. You, you gotta dial up what you practice, whether it's the, the throw, Jesse, and a bunch of laterals, or you're chucking this thing as far as you can throw it. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to just do something crazy to end up winning this game. But I'll tell you what, we've seen weird things happen in college football. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that, that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Reese, some might say you're not a one-trick pony 